So let's start with the first problem. Uh, in this problem, uh, like we have, uh, we want to calculate uh, the number of uh, pin codes which uh, uh, like four digit strings, uh, and uh, we are given uh, some sequence of digits um, which uh, are like what uh, number case in what, in what order uh, person who were like, uh, using this pin code uh, were having their fingers on uh, in the order uh, and uh, we asked to calculate the number of uh, good pin codes. Uh, like pin code is good if uh, it can be uh, uh, what wait <laughs> um. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, so, once again, uh, we have several uh, uh, several descriptions of uh, like client using uh, trying to enter their uh, pin code, and uh, like each of these events is. Uh, uh, string of digits and uh, the pin code is good for uh, one such event uh, if it can be entered uh, by using some uh, digits from a uh, given string in the order like uh, from this string uh, pin code 1111 is good uh, like we can re reuse the same digits, the same digit, uh, as many times as we want. But pin code uh, two one two one is not good uh, because, like, uh, when we enter two, uh, we have to go to the right. So uh, it can be two one two one, and also one two one two also uh, is bad. Uh, so the pin code is good for one event if. Uh, it is like uh, almost subsequent, but we can reuse the number uh, as many times as we want. And it's not very clear from the statement, but uh, looks like uh, the pin code is overall good if uh, it's good for all uh, our n uh, events. So. Uh, I have special screen to draw something. Uh, like the number of pin codes is uh, not very big. Uh, we have uh, we have four digits. What's happening? Sorry. Something is really wrong. I'm not doing this. Okay, I don't know why it's so slow. <laughs> Let's try anyway. 
uh, like we have four digits this is unusable uh, and each digit uh, can be one of ten possible values so the number of pin codes is uh, like ten thousand uh, so if we will just check each pin code for each event uh, fast it will be fine we just uh, go through all the pin codes uh, through all the events and uh, check if uh, it is fine for uh, everyone so how to check if a pin code is good uh, against one event so event I'm not doing this. No. Event is a string of digits, and uh, like we want to check if uh, given short string, which is our pin code, uh, is uh, like some <laughs> come on <laughs> uh, some uh, subsequence uh, of this array. Uh, but we can reuse uh, numbers, but it's it doesn't really matter. For example. Uh, we want uh, we can just uh, like uh, duplicate each digit in our event string uh, four times uh, so we won't use uh, any digits more, more than four times uh, because the length of our pin code is just four um, so we could just uh, do this like all the events of all the events will be four times longer, but it's okay. Uh, so we want to check if given short string is a subsequence of given long string. How to do this? Well, actually, we can do uh, this greedily. Let's look at our first digit uh, and go from left to right. Uh, through our big string and find the, find the first occurrence. So let's say it's first occurs here. Uh, so I say that uh, it's actually good to take uh, this occurrence. We could take uh, some occurrence uh, on the right, but uh, if like there is a subsequent which is equal to our string. Uh, using uh, like some occurrence to the right, we could just change it to the leftmost, and it still will be fine. Uh, so uh, for first uh, digit, we should just uh, take the first occurrence. Uh, what's next? Like we should uh, look for second digit. Uh, it can happen that it uh, occurred on the left from our first, but we cannot use those. So we should uh, go next to the right. So we go uh, to the right, and we want to find the like, next occurrence, but to the right of the previous one. And uh, again, we could use something to the right, but uh, it's better to use this one because it's uh, it left us with uh, like more freedom. Uh, we have uh, more of our string left, so it will be easier for us to find two remaining digits. Uh, and so on. Uh, like the greedy algorithm is as follows: we just uh, we are standing uh, somewhere uh, in the beginning, just in the beginning of big string, and we go through uh, a pattern we want to find. Uh, go from left to right, 
uh, and uh, like we want to find the earliest occurrence of each digit uh, to the right of our current position uh, and move our current position uh, just to the right of uh, this one. Uh, so, uh, how do we uh, implement this? We can like do this for each uh, like, for each digit. Just uh, run to the right. Uh, it's not even. Uh, it will work not in uh, of product of lens of this, which like can seen, uh, can be seen that. Uh, for each digit, we want to go through all the string, but actually it's not true. We just want to go from uh, the place we uh, stopped uh, in the previous iteration and to the place we will stop now. So we will go through our big string uh, just once. So it actually works in time uh, proportional to sum of lengths of these two strings, but uh, it's still bad for uh, our problem. Like uh, in our problem, the short string is just four uh, symbols long, and the uh, long string can be really long. I don't know, uh, ten thousand, uh, and the sum of the length is ten to the six. So it's uh, not good. To do it in uh, sum of lands, <laughs> of course. Um, but uh, what we actually want to do uh, is uh, we want from uh, from this position to find uh, the next occurrence of some digit, and then jump to this occurrence. Uh, we can pre-calculate uh, something for each long string. For example, uh, we can just for uh, for each position we can uh, pre-calculate the uh, closest occurrence to the right of each digit. Uh, to do this, we will just go from right to left. Uh, if we uh, at the end of the string there are no occurrences of uh, for uh, all digits, and then when we uh, move one step back, the closest occurrence is either uh, the next symbol or the closest occurrence uh, to the uh, position one step f further. Uh, so we can calculate all of this in time. This should be m, uh, m times uh, ten, where ten is the number of digits. Uh, uh, it is denoted by like the size of the alphabet. Our alphabet are digits, so the size of the alphabet is uh, ten. Uh, and then, for each short string, we will uh, just start at the beginning and jump four times, uh, or check if uh, we have to jump. Like uh, <laughs> the, num the next jump doesn't exist. Uh, uh, so uh, this complexity is fine because uh, like we have many many short strings, uh, two to the fourth. Uh, and for each of them, we will just do four jumps, and for each long string, we will pre-compute uh, pre some values uh, like for each position and uh, each digit, where is the next occurrence of this digit. Uh, so the total running time should be uh, like 10 to the fourth. Uh, multiplied by number of big strings, it's 1000, uh, and uh, 4 jumps, uh, 
last pre calculations for uh, all the strings. Um, it's like 10 multiplied by uh, total length of all the strings, which is 1 million, if I remember correctly. So it's fine, it's just like 50 million, so it's uh, now calls the, the time limit. Um, uh, yeah, we also said that uh, we actually want to multiply the, uh, all these lines by four, uh, by repeating every character four times, but uh, it's actually not needed. We can just say that when we are standing uh, in some symbol, we can jump to it uh, again. Uh, so we can reuse symbols. Uh, we should go not strictly to the right, but uh, to write or to the symbol. So for for each uh, position, we want to include uh, the current symbol uh, as like, possibly the closest one. Uh, and this way, it, it just slightly changes the uh, pre-calculations. Uh, and now we don't have to duplicate every symbol four times. We can just uh, do it in this context. So uh, let's try to implement this. Mm. So it's two thousand five. I have some script which just copies the um, template. So um, I said that uh, we will try all the pin codes and check if it's correct, but um, like it's. Uh, more convenient uh, for memory constraints and something uh, that we will uh, for each pin code we will store if it still can be the answer if it's uh, good for all the events uh, we already uh, done and uh, for one event we do uh, our pre-computation uh, pre and uh, uh, then check all the pin codes against this event. Uh, so ten to the fourth it is uh, simultaneously the number of uh, pin codes we have to check. So it's the number of answers, and uh, it's the limitation on length of one string. Uh, we also have to know our 10, it's the size of the alphabet. Um, so we want uh, array for our precomputation for each position, uh, the next uh, for each position and each symbol from alphabet, for each digit, uh, the next occurrence of the symbol, uh, let's call this array next. For each position and each digit. Uh, and I guess we are done. So first we want to say that uh, all of these are good. And we have some events, and we want to do uh, something for each event. So, uh, and then we want to calculate result. It's just the number of pin codes uh, that are good. 
So the function solve is uh, something we'll do for each event. For each event, what we should do. Um, we should read uh, in the description. The description is the let's and uh, the string itself. Um, now we want to do uh, our computation. So uh, we say that uh, if we are uh, outside the string, so we are at position n. Uh, for each digit, uh, like we are at the bad spot, there is no uh, other occurrences. We can just say uh, the next one is also it's uh, in n, um, which will mean that uh, if we are ever at position n, uh, we are all discrete. Uh, we didn't find some previous digits we want. Uh, so, uh, if we are at position n, uh, everything we want to do should just like leave our, uh, us screwed. <laughs> like, if we are at position n, we should just end up at position n. Uh, and, uh, going from right to left so what should we say uh, we should say that uh, well basically we can find each uh, digit just by uh, going one to the right and then finding the next occurrence but uh, there is one digit uh, for which we can find the current straight here, and uh, this is uh, digit uh, s i. So for position i and digit s i, the next occurrence is just i. Uh, so what will happen if we uh, will want this digit like three times? Uh, we will go from i to i and then to i once more, and then to i once more. Uh, that like allows us to uh, reuse uh, the digit we already used, but not allows us to go to the left. And now we just want for, uh, for each code. Um, okay, possibly it would be better to write in some uh, recursive way, but uh, okay, let's say that we want to check uh, all of our codes and uh, say that ANS should be still true if it's true now, uh, and uh, and check also. True. So the function check uh, should return uh, if we can find our code in uh, current event, current string. So how do we do this? Now we should stay uh, like start at the beginning of our string and uh, four times for each digit uh, try to find the next occurrence. And uh, like if we uh, at some point are uh, not in our string at position n, uh, then we should return false. Otherwise, we should return true. Uh, but we uh, we wrote our precalculation in that way, uh, in such a way that um, that uh, we could just continue uh, for all four digits, even if we jump out of our string. Uh, like this uh, ensures that we will stay at position n. Uh, even if we will try to jump by some other digits, so we should just um, like we should do four jumps and then um, return 
that uh, like pos uh, is less than n means that we are inside the string and we found all, all our four digits in order and otherwise pos will be equal to n. So how to um, jump four digits? So we should like get the four digits uh, which are from which this number consists of. Mm, we could say that, like, we could just write them to array, uh, but we could say that, uh, like, we store our numbers um, in reverse order, like, each number uh, have exactly four digits, and, like, uh, the leftmost digit will be uh, the least significant, uh, like, the second digit will be uh, like the number of tens, and then hundreds, and then thousands. Uh, it wouldn't work if we have uh, had to print uh, the answer, but we should just check, uh, print the number of good answers, so uh, we can do this. How to get the first number? We should uh, take our x modular uh, 10, and this uh, this will be our digit. So uh, now we want to jump. We are staying at position pos, and we have digit d. We want to jump to the next occurrence of d. Maybe it's still impossible. Uh, and now we should uh, like discard the uh, least significant digits. It's done by uh, just dividing by ten. Uh, so I guess this should work. No, this is indifferent. I want n to be the length of the string, and uh, this is like the number of bands. So it works on sub, uh, and I think we can submit it. Yay! So uh, we have solved the first one. Um, I'll uh, then move to the fourth problem, but uh, first I have to check why this doesn't work. Maybe it's. So yeah, now it's kind of okay. Not the best, but kind of okay. Okay, maybe um, like doing screencasts and drawing is not very good for my computer. I, I don't know. I'll try to do something. Yeah. 